This recording is just to show you how to make use of the Microsoft Terminology Collection using Multiterm 2014. And to do this, I'm going to show you how to convert the Microsoft T TBX in a very easy way using the Glossary Converter from the Open Exchange. The Glossary Converter I'm going to use is this one. The Glossary Converter Charity Edition. You can use the, the, the other version that's already on the Open Exchange, but I like this particular version, which is only seven euros, because it has a much faster TBX parser, um, as well as some additional features which I use for other, for other things. Well worth the seven euros, but there is another one um, which you can, also, you can also use. Now, if I just go back here a second. In order to take the TBX, you select the language you want, in this case, I'm going to pick the Arabic to answer a question that a gentleman asked. When I select the Arabic, I will also get English US. So whichever language you pick, this comes with English. So you get a bilingual pair. And all you would do is click on download. And then depending on your internet connection, this will download the Microsoft TBX. Now, once you've got it, when you open it up, you'd notice that it has the source term, Arabic, for example, and the target term, English US and then it gives you two other fields it gives you a definition in English a definition of the term and it gives you the part of speech now the part of speech has several values to it actually it has seven values to it but I couldn't find anywhere in this documentation what those values would actually be and if you wanted to to create a pick list um, so that these values were a pick list instead instead of just text you would need to know what they are so I'll just show you a quick trick so I've downloaded the TBX already, so I don't have a very fast internet connection here at home. Um, it's nine megabytes. And if I start up Microsoft Excel, so I just fire it up, and then if I just drag the TBX into Excel, you get this message first of all, I'm just gonna say open it anyway. And because it's a TBX file, which is an XML file, it says, do you want to open it as an XML table? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, that may take just a little while depending on the speed of your computer. Once that is opened, if you move across to the right, so you'll see, first of all, you, you get every field that is actually inside that XML file. Then you move over to the right, you can see I've got these, I had the, the part of speech, and these are all the different items in there. If I click on that little drop down to filter on it, you can see which they are, and there's seven different items. The blanks are irrelevant because these are all these blank spaces here that relate to the definition and not to the actual terms. All the terms are fully populated. I've checked them already. And there's seven different ones. Adjective, adverb, not selected, noun, other, proper noun, and verb. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to add those in as I go through and create my file. I won't bother saving that because I don't need it. So I'm just gonna start up the Glossary Converter, which I have here. This is just Total Commander. It's a little program that I like to use. And I just have some shortcuts to various things that I use in here. So I click on the Glossary Converter button, and this fires up the Glossary Converter. The first thing I'm going to do is check in the settings and make sure that I haven't got this box checked. The reason is, is that if I have that checked, then whichever one of these items here, any one of these file types that I have selected, that's what the TBX will be converted into. And I want it to be converted into a multi-term database. I don't want it converted into any of these. So make sure it's not checked. Click on OK. And then I just take the TBX and I drag it and drop it straight into the Glossary Converter interface like that. Immediately it brings up the different items. So it's recognized the English US, it's recognized the Arabic, it's recognized the definition is text. Now the part of speech was actually text the first time I did it, and I changed that. You do that by just right clicking, and it did say that originally, but I changed it to pick list, and then you can edit the pick list values. So I'm just gonna add in adjective, adverb, noun, Not selected other 
Oh, let's get the spelling right. Proper noun and verb. So there should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. OK, and I click on OK. So very straightforward, simple to do. And then I just click on OK. This will then go through. First of all, it will convert the TBX to the multi-term SDLTB. That will happen fairly quickly. And then it will spend some time reorganizing. So when that first happens, so you can see it's finished that now. And if I just activate this again quickly so you can see it, it's now showing me where I've got all the index files there. I've got the STLTB. It's currently um, 40 megabytes. That figure is going to increase as it goes through reorganizing the multi-term collection. This could take a couple of minutes. So I'm going to cheat and I will just cut out the couple of minutes. So if you don't get there as quickly as I seem to have got there, um, in, the, in this example, don't worry, it's because I chopped some of the recording time out, but it, was, it did take me a couple of minutes. So once that process is finished, I can just click on Exit. You can see now my multi-term SDLTB is up to 104 megabytes, and I've got my English and Arabic index files. If I double-click my SDLTB file, this opens up multi-term, and I've minimized the window slightly just so that we can see the words better because the Arabic is all right aligned and the English is left aligned. But as I click down through the items, you can see that, or if I arrow down, you can see I've got my English, the definition, the part of speech, which is a pick list. Um, so here it's a noun, here it's a noun, but it would be, it's the same word. That one's other, but you get the general idea. So we have everything. And if I click on the term-based management view, you can see I've got 16,009 entries. I've got more Arabic than English, which means I've got um, about 200, 218 um, synonyms. If I click on the definition, you can see that the part of speech is a pick list, and these are my different pick list items, which means if I chose to be able to, if I or if I wanted to be to, to use it based on those pick list items for some reason, I would be able to because they're not just text. But if that wasn't relevant to you, you could just drag and drop that TBX straight into the glossary converter, forget about trying to add all the pick list values, and it will just enter them as text, which might well be what you want. Or you could even just ignore them altogether. And that's it. So pretty straightforward, simple to use. I hope that was helpful.